Namaste and welcome to React Bits. If you are making lots of projects with Flutter and Firebase, and like me, if you are tired of setting up various Firebase plugins time and again in each and every of your project, I have created a Firebase starter project for you. It's free and open source. The GitHub link is provided below. You can use this starter project to easily create your next Flutter and Firebase mobile application. So let us see the demo, what is implemented. So you can see the welcome screen. You can either log in, sign up, or you can continue with Google. Once you continue, I splash the screen until the user details is loaded. And this is the intro screen that you can use to show app introduction to your user and once you get a start you go to the home page there is a profile page where user detail is shown and you can even go to edit profile change the name or even upload a photo profile picture you can even crop the profile picture in the required size and save to apply your settings so this is what is implemented on the surface but behind the scene lots of other things are implemented so if you see the main dot dart file you can see that crasslytics is properly implemented then there are two flavors of app dev and production flavor that you can use with separate firebase projects so that while you are developing, your production database is intact and you can do whatever tests you like in your development database. Next, the folders are properly organized into core and feature folders and each feature has their own separate folder with even inside there is data presentation and resources folder that you can use to separate your code. Or if you don't like the folder structure, you can just rearrange as you would like it. Next, what is implemented is localization. So Flutter supported localization with localizely plugin that automatically generates the Dart file. So whenever you add a new string in your language file it automatically generates the required dead dart files and you can add as many languages as you would like next let us see a list of plugins that is implemented so cloud fire store is implemented and though you are not seeing here whenever a user signs up the device details of the user the push notification token, everything is saved in the Firestore database. Provider is used as a state management solution, but if you do not like it, you can easily switch using your own state management solution. Firebase authentication with Google sign, is in, sign in is implemented. You can already see that. Firebase analytics is implemented and it is it properly tracks the screen names, and you can even log custom events. So if you check out profile dot in the logout event, so whenever user taps the logout button, a logout event is also logged. So in this way, you can log any custom events that you would like. Firebase messaging for push notification is properly implemented. Firebase storage which is also used to store the profile picture of the user is properly imp implemented. Remote config is implemented. You can use it, not used in the project, but you can use it. Localization, we already talked about that. Google fonts, image speaker and image cropper for profile picture management. Flutter SPG, if you like to load and display SPG. Package info and device info to save the details of user device and the current version of app being used by the user in their database. Flutter auth buttons for, you can see that continue with Google button 
and any other authentication buttons that you would like and flutter swiper that you can use to create a sliders etc and in order to start a project based on this you can easily follow the guidelines described in the readme file of this repository so if you check out this getting started section if you follow these steps line by line you would set up a new project based on this project for both android and ios hope you like it thank you subscribe share and if you like my work do give a star and do share with you, share it with your friends who would like to make their next project with flutter and firebase if you like to add more features feel free to contribute make a fork and create a pull request and if you have any suggestions please write in the comments create a issue in our github repository thank you